Hey yo, hey everyone, Skylinks here bringing you another video review. Today we're going to be doing Transformers Animated Deluxe Class Cybertron Mode Optimus Prime. Prime for short. Um, information about Prime. Prime was uh, part of the Elite Guard before he was kicked out uh, after an accident that happened with Setona Prime. We don't know any details of the accident just yet, we just know there was an accident. Um, he was also very good friends with um, Elite One, who was Black Arachnia. Um, since he's been kicked out, he became the captain of a uh, the Space Bridge crew, and then the events of Transformers happened. They found the Allspark, that, uh, they messed around with the Decepticons, and they went to Earth. Um, you know, he's a Prime, so he just leads. Nothing really happens with him much. Um, the big thing about this Prime is just his character. Um, his character is very much different from all the other Primes in that he is not a veteran. He is not battle-worn. He's, um, he's youthful and very inexperienced. Um, he's a young leader, which I like. I thought it was something cool that they did. I thought it was very unique that they did something like that because Prime has never been viewed as young. Unless you count Beast Wars up as Primal, but that's not Prime. That's a different character. But yes, it's very nice that they did a young, inexperienced um, commander. He's a very good leader. Very good leader. Uh, he's a pretty good fighter, too. He's very resourceful, and um, he's willing to get in people's face. Probably the biggest downside to him is out of all the Primes, he's the most gullible of them. But yes, that's about all you can say about Prime. Um, he's just a unique version of Prime, and I like it. it it's refreshing. It is. Um, so anyways, on to the figure itself. I've been showing you the alt mode. I've been spinning around while I was talking. The alt mode looks pretty cool. It's reminiscent of almost every single Prime toy we've had, uh, with the legs down here and the body cooped up. Um, it rolls pretty nicely. It looks pretty cool. The exhaust pipes can go up and down. Um, the only thing I don't like is how it has the window, the translucent window there. But, you know, you can't complain too much. Autobot symbol. Overall, it's not a bad figure. I, I, I like the alt mode. Um, I just don't like that they always do things with the legs here. But on a whole, it's pretty cool. Um, it's this robot mode, which really is the awesome part of this figure. So, um, let's start things off by transforming it. Take off this part here. And I'm going to explain the weapons real quickly. This can be a shield, but... Let me just put that over there. Um, you got his axe. You got it in regular axe mode. And then you got it in hatchet mode. And then you can pull this thing and put it in... Let me see if I can just slide that in there. Oh, of course, I've been doing it wrong. Um, super axe mode, which I think looks ridiculous, but... I like the hatchet mode the best, so... Let's keep it in hatchet mode. Um, see, the first things you want to do is you took off that. Now you want to release these legs. Like so. Um, and just bring this down. Spin the legs around if you want. Might as well get that part out of the way. And adjust the feet. There. Okay. Um, now the upper body. Release the arm section might as well release the arm sections and bring them down here. Cool. Okay, next is release this section here and bring it down. And you want to connect that in. There's a little notch in there and you got to connect it in. There we go. Just the head up like that. Bring these flaps down. And then just the, uh, just the arms accordingly to how you want them. And that's about it. The transformation is pretty simple. He looks pretty badass in this mode. Um, before I do the robot mode overall, let's just um, do a posability. He has great articulation, leg-wise and arm-wise, although I would like to see more articulation in his hands. That's my only complaint with the articulation. The head could spin all the way around. Um, you can take this and you can move this section in here out and fold 
this up, and you can turn this into a shield, which I think is a lot better usefulness for it than making it a super axe. But that's just me. Let me see if I can get in there. There we go. Shield. And then you can just put the axe here. Uh, now you can pretend this is his grappling hook. I don't know. Just for pretends. But yeah. Uh, Prime's main weapons is he has his axe and his grappling hook. Like all Autobots, he doesn't actually have an official gun. He just has tools. But anyways, we're going to pause the review here and we're going to look at the figure overall. Okay, here is him fully transformed in his robot mode. Um, I forgot to mention Prime does have a rocket on his axe. Yes, he has a rocket power axe which gives him momentum in his attack. Sorry. Um, overall, the figure looks very nice. I, I enjoy this figure. I think it's one of the better of the Wave 1 figures. Um, he has the Autobot symbol there. The color scheme is reminiscent of every Prime. Um, a little bit more blue than usual, though. I don't remember any of the Primes having blue for fifth. But yeah. And that brings me to the fifth. The fists are probably the only thing about Prime I don't like. But other than that, he's very poseable. You get an gnarly amount of poses that on him. And then, depending on what you want to do with the axe, like I have it over his shoulder like that, that's how I'm going to pose it. I saw that in one of the pictures, so yeah. Just spin this around here. The back is kind of hollow. They're trying to make the flaps look like he has an actual back. But, you know, you're not going to be looking at the back too much. I can definitely see this being a good figure for stop motion. Now, as good as the figure this is, I'm really actually looking forward to the Voyager class Prime more. That's just me. But still, this figure is pretty nice. Um, actually, really nice. Why am I saying pretty nice? It's really nice. Um, the only thing is, is when transforming it back into vehicle mode, just make sure you have the arms in the right place. Um, but other than that, yeah, awesome figure. I definitely suggest picking this up. Definitely. If I was to give you one Voyager and one Deluxe class to get, definitely get him and then definitely get Starscream. At least for what the figures are out now because all that's out are Prowl, Bumblebee, Starscream, Lockdown, Prime, Megatron, and Bulkhead. So I pretty much get Prime and get Starscream if you can because those are the two best out of their classes right now. So yeah. So um, that's my review of Prime going to cut it short pretty early. I mean, I showed you the figure all around, give you the uh, specs on him. Like I said, he's a very unique character, unique because he's new, he's young, and, you know, he has all the same qualities as Prime that in the original show. He just has more of a useful um, energy to him, which is nice, and I think we needed that. I think we needed something new with the Prime, um, especially after the movie. As great as it was to see a D1 Prime in the movie, you know, we've seen it before. It's good to see something new. So yeah, one more overview because I have one minute left, I think, on this. Cool face, cool face. And if you can get past most of the cartoonish aspect of um, animated, you know, the figures really work out very well. Mm -hmm. There you go. Boom. And I'm going to be uploading animated reviews a lot more often than I thought I was going to do, just because... I'm going to have a lot of them to upload, so it's going to hurt my other reviews a bit, but that's okay. Um, anyways, I guess that's it. Definitely get Animated Prime. He's worth getting. An awesome character in the show, too. Anyways, this is Skylink saying peace out for now.